Hello and good afternoon. So if you don't remember, way back when I first started down the line, I went from Bletchley to Portsmouth and Southsea on a weekend away. However, I'm now back this time with Graham and we are going to do Portsmouth and Southsea as a proper episode. So I've been here a few times so I know what to expect. You haven't however, have you mate? Not since 1987. So a very long time. Uh, but nonetheless, enjoy it all the same and welcome again to Down the Line. So Portsmouth and Southsea originally opened in 1847, however the name was solely Portsmouth and it didn't get its current name until 1925 but the station was built by the Portsmouth, Brighton and South Coast Railway comprising of four platforms which we will go into a bit further on in this episode in more detail but like I said, been here a few times already and I have to say it's a very likeable station. Whilst on our rail tour Myself and Graham decided to head down to Portsmouth's second station, Portsmouth and Southsea. Its name originates after the closure of the Southsea Railway, which closed in 1914. Not only that, it was once part of the Admiralty Line. Well, at, at this station, I think it's really, really lovely. Portsmouth is a it's really nice station, a grade two listed building. And uh, since I've been here, I'm really impressed. So. For me and Stephen, I think it's uh, wonderful. Um, this train behind me is going to London Waterloo and we're going to the high level to catch our train from the high level. So here we go. The station name, however, is both geographically incorrect and outdated as the station isn't located in the South Sea area, but in Portsmouth, it is located in the inner Lamport area instead. So Station wise here, it is managed by South Western Railway. However, on a service perspective, you get Southern, South Western of course, and Great Western Railway. Now, you can go to many destinations. You can go obviously, like Graham said, London Waterloo, along to Portsmouth Harbour, Southampton, Cardiff, etc. Um, however, mentioning Southampton, that is where the train behind me is going. So as a Southampton fan, I recommend that you leave Portsmouth immediately and head to Southampton because as we all know red and white is much better than blue. Football rivalry aside the station does provide great connections for passengers for everyday travel with many services coming at many points of the day. So, in regards to the platform arrangements here platforms three and four are bay platforms on the lower level and platforms one and two is an island platform up on the high level which we will venture onto shortly. Um, normally you'll get the services from Great Western and Southern, I believe, up there. Um, so yeah, that you get a good variation here, you actually do. Like I said before, it's a good station, it's very, very likeable for a commuter. Um, and in terms of this line, you've got a big car park just to the left, uh, right of me. That had three more platforms, which obviously they closed down. And there was also a dockyard branch line here called the Admiralty Line. So again, History is here, and I've always said this on these episodes, you just gotta dig beneath the surface and have a look. If you was to research Portsmouth, you will find out that it is not only famed for its naval history, it is also the birthplace of Charles Dickens and an incredibly famous engineer whose names you should all know. So, this fact needs a special mention. On the 9th of April, 1806, a 19th century engineering giant was born in Portsmouth and of course that was Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Obviously chief engineer for the Great Western Railway, many affiliations with bridges, engineering, everything that you can think of in terms of railways. He was a massive figurehead on the railways and afterwards just about five minute walk away from here there is a Weatherspoons named the Isambard Kingdom Brunel. So me and Graham find it highly appropriate to have a spot of lunch in his namesake. This is for you, Inzambad. It has been a great return to Portsmouth and Southsea Station after a time away, but now it's time to head back to Portsmouth Harbour to commence our journey home on the Vectors Venturer. Right then, that's Portsmouth and Southsea finished. 
So as you know, we are here in the meantime of our rail tour before we head back to Kensington Olympia. But like I said, it would be rude not to give this station its own attention. And we've done exactly that. And I've enjoyed it. And I'm sure you have, mate. Absolutely, at 100%, it's a really nice uh, station. A bit unusual for a high level station, but the, yes. there again, so is Tamworth in Staffordshire. Oh, high level and low level, it's so, so yeah. really, really, really nice. Exactly that, so now we are gonna get onto the next service to Portsmouth Harbour, spend a bit of time at Gun Wharf, look at the Spinner, Spinnaker Tower, and just enjoy the rest of the day, really. But from us again, thank you very much, and we will see you next time down the line. Down the line.